Alrighty guys, good morning to you. We are live. Kind of running a little behind than normal. And it's funny because I'm here at work today. And there's few people up on the hill, but we're not operating on anything. No operation as far as running lumber or trucks coming in or anything. But somebody's still got to be here to watch the place, and that's why I'm here. Anyway, it is 10.48 a.m. on this Memorial Day. It is the 27th day of May, 2019. And we are going to look at another word, part of our devotion this morning. Um, as you know, we've been looking at words and having making acronyms and, and taking a word that has different meanings. And today we're looking at another word, light, L-I-G-H-T, light. Simply saying light, live or living in God's heavenly truth. And I tell you what, if we're going to have God in our... And I read this and I thought this was very interesting because... We hear this often, you know, when we talk about God and we talk about love, they're one and the same. Um, God is love. If you look at love, love is God. You can't have God in your heart and not have love. You can't have love in your heart and not have God. You know, the Bible says that God is love, one and the same. However, also scripture says that God is light. And once again, we have to, if we have God in in our life then we must have God's light and we're going to talk about his light and we're going to talk about the acronym living in God's heavenly truth and um, we cannot have truth and cannot have light if we do not have God and vice versa you know if we have God we must have light we must have truth in us and John chapter 8 verse 12 tells us, it says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So I want you to know that God is light. And if we're going to have the light in us, then we need God in us. So many times we, we walk around godless, but we're thinking that we're shining a light to a, to a lost and dark world. Well, listen, without the light of God in us, how can we be effective to shine any type of light for a dark world? We're in darkness as well because God is light. First John chapter 1, verse 7 says this, says, but he, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth, cleanseth us from all unrighteousness or for all sin. Um, listen, we have to have the light of God in us. John 12, 35 says this, Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he goeth. <laughs> Boy, won't that preach. He that walketh in darkness has no idea where they're going. Listen, don't rely on the light that this world gives you. Don't rely on the light that Satan tries to give you. Um, listen, there is no light in darkness. There's no light in evil and, and sin. But the only light that we can rely on comes from God. He's not just a light. Jesus Christ is not a light, but he is the light. God is the light. He is the light that will shine upon us and reveal our sin. And I'm thankful. That's why old Hank Williams, when he um, wrote that song, I saw the light. And, you know, I thank God that I saw the light when I was in sin, when I was in darkness. And Jesus Christ, through his word, had revealed his light in my life and made me realize just how unrighteous, made me realize how dirty and how unclean I was. And, and he showed 
showed me just how filthy I was in sin, but then he also gave me a way to clean myself up, and that was through the blood of Jesus Christ. Look in 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. It says, This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declared unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Did you catch that? God is light. It didn't say God is a light. God is the very source of light, and we need to tap into his light. Um, I read this um, story. I think this is very interesting, and I hope this sheds some light, pun intended, um, to you. But again, we're looking at the word light, L-I-G-H-T. We're also looking at the acronym that somebody had come up with, living in God's heavenly truth. If we're truly going to have a light in us, we must live in truth. Mm -hmm. We must not live in lies. We must not, must not live in um, d um, darkness. Because like I said, a lot of people, they think that, uh, well, listen to this. Years ago, I was walking through the house, got up at nighttime and couldn't sleep. I was walking through the house. It was very dark. And I usually, when I wake up and can't sleep, I usually go into the living room and I just sit in my recliner and I'll meditate and pray. And, and it was pitch dark in the room. But the more, but there was, my DVR was sitting there by the TV and there was a little light on it. And it might have been the VCR. But anyway, the longer I sat in that room, the more my eyes focused and adjusted to that little light that was coming off of the VCR. And after a certain period of time, I was able to see everything. And now that it wasn't as bright as a light if you turned it on, but that little light gave me enough to be able to make everything out where the couch and the chairs and the, you know, end tables were and all that stuff. And what had happened was nobody turned the light on. There was just a tiny little light from the VCR, but my eyes was focusing in other words my eyes were getting used to the dark now that doesn't mean somebody flipped the light switch on but your eyes get used to the dark and i believe that's what happens with us in our society today you know is you walk in darkness of the world but people get so used to the sin people get so used to the darkness that what used to be wrong what used to be abomination what used to be murder now people are saying oh you know what it's not so bad because they're getting used to the sin getting used to the dark in our society well, listen just because we grow accustomed to something just because we get used to something doesn't make it right if it's wrong if the Word of God says it's wrong regardless of how used you get to it and regardless how much you adjust to it it's still wrong but thank God for his light that will reveal what is right what and will reveal what is wrong will reveal what is truth and will reveal what is false and this is why God in 1 John chapter 1 verse 5 says this then is the message um, which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. We are taught to be in God. We are taught to be to walk in God. Walk in light um, in his light. I want to read this story. I, I kind of I wrote a question out what does it mean to live in God's truth and I come across this story don't believe it was an accident and I want to read it to you and um, just kind of bear with me it's not very long but I think this is fantastic what it means to live in God's truth how God's truth will transform and change our lives on June 22nd 1772 a 31-year-old man by the name of James Somerset was involved in a court case in England. As a young boy in Africa, he had been captured and taken as a slave to the New World. His master, Charles Stewart, later took him from Boston to England. The famous case of Somerset, an African, versus Stewart, a Scot, was, um, was to decide... It says, now that Somerset was in England, whether he was a free or wet man or whether he was still property of Charles Stewart. Stewart wanted to take him to the West Indies and let him work the rest of his life harvesting um, sugar cane. It says, the Lord Chief Justice, Lord Mansfield, 
uh, ruled that in England the air is too pure for a slave, and every man is free who breathes this air. So in other words, he said that James Somerset was not a piece of property, but free. The judge said that every man who comes to England is entitled to the protection of English law. No sooner does a slave touch English soil that his shackles fall from him. What a momentous legal decision, declaring that a slave was free the moment he or she stepped on English soil. Now listen to this. It says that moment that his shackles fell from him, that was his freedom. That's when he became free. So this was the truth about all men and women on English soil. Now let's look at it spiritually. The moment that you and I come to Jesus Christ, the moment we stand on Jesus Christ and his truth is the moment that we encounter freedom. It says the moment that you encounter um, him as your Savior and as your Lord, the shackles of sin that bind you will fall. Then you are free to be the person God created you to be and to fulfill his purpose in your life. He went on to say, allow God's word through the spirit of truth to shine on you. Know the truth, live the truth, and speak the truth. John chapter 8 verse 32 says, and, he, the, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So God's light will cause us to live in God's heavenly truth. So folks, when you think about light today, I want you to think of the acronym living in God's heavenly truth. Listen, there is truth in the light of God. There is truth. The light will reveal every hidden sin that's in us. And that is a good thing. And because when the sin is revealed in us, then we can go to God and plead the blood of Jesus Christ, who will wash away our sins and make us free from sin. Every shackle that is bound on us will have to fall. Every shackle of sin will have to fall loose from us when the blood of Jesus sets us free. So today, let's thank God for our freedom. Let's thank God for our um, the light that revealed the sin that's in us. And thank God for the sacrifice through Jesus Christ who paid our sin debt. So today, if we're walking in light as He is in light, then we will have fellowship one with another. And folks, listen, that is the very um, description of salvation. How do you know that you pass from death into life? Is because you love your brethren. Folks, listen, I'm thankful that the light of God will reveal that in us. His word is truth. So today, when you look at light, just think living in God's heavenly truth. There is truth in Jesus Christ. There is light in Jesus Christ that will make us free from sin. Listen, that's all I got for you today. Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow with another devotion. Um, let's never forget uh, the reason why we um, observe and I even say celebrate Memorial Day because of the men and women who um, were so brave to give their lives um, for our freedom. Um, enjoy your day. Um, don't forget about them and their sacrifice, but enjoy your day. When I get off work today, I plan on being with my family and having a cookout and, and, and celebrating. So listen, there ain't nothing wrong with that. People get mad and upset because you celebrate um, Memorial Day. Listen, there's nothing in the pages to say you have to go home and sit in a dark room and twirl your t thumbs until the holiday's over with. Listen, let, a, let us observe and let us that go out and, and, and be thankful for freedom and family today. So that's what I think Memorial Day is all about. So listen, without saying all that, listen, I'm going to get off here. Love you guys. Have a great day. God bless you.